absolutely thrilling to watch these six men's quads blast off the start. Some brilliant examples of quadruple sculling. The Italians closest to you, they really know how to move about. Giacomo Gentili leading his crew off in the first 250 metres. The stroke man with his cap set back on his head. Netherlands not quite in it in the first 100 metres. They'll come back into it. It's the Germans in the middle of the course in lane number three leading in this race's early stages. Hans Gruner stroking that German boat, 41 strokes a minute, has taken them through to a very slight advantage over the rest of the field. Slight advantage is the word, the word there. We expect a close race, we expect a fast race. Now the Polish are just showing their bow in front. The Netherlands are right there, as you said, Martin. We don't expect the Netherlands to fly out. We expect them to get into one of those relentless rhythms, which has efficiency all about it. Here we see them, and it does look efficient, doesn't it? 40 strokes a minute, and they're looking pretty smooth for that kind of rate, just moving so well together. It doesn't look like 40 strokes a minute. Look at the Italians. They were just ahead at 500 of the poles in their heat. Experienced German stroke man. You heard Kat Holloway talk about Hans Gruner, the Olympic champion, Karl Schutzer, the other Olympic champion in that boat up in the bow seat. What a race this is coming through the 500 metres. Poland, like their men's four, take a lead through to the first marker in this race. I guess this Polish squad will know that their men's four have already come back to the area where they hang out with gold medals around their necks. Now can they repeat the performance? It would be a surprise, but not as much a surprise as their four. They need to keep going and get a big lead, but as it is, they look two boats over to their left. These Italians with Giacomo Gentili in the stroke seat, those very individualized features of his, and they are starting to come up level with the Dutch crew and level with the Polish. Yeah, really strong quarter here from that Italian crew, that early lead from the poles being eaten up. We can see the Netherlands have moved into the lead. They're the fastest moving boat on the course. Here are the Germans. They're just back in fourth place now. They've got a length to make up on these three crews that lead them. Here again with the Dutch, such a beautiful fluid rhythm from them. Fantastic sculling coming from the Dutch squad in their Paris squad, in their men's squad, in their women's squad. It's fluid and it's loose and it's moving them really well into the lead here in the second quarter. Kern Mertesack is the stroke we saw there, the 27-year-old from Focus Club. Tone Veeten behind him, Abby Wiesma and Dirk Uten Bogard up in the bows, third in the Rio 8s. All these guys from the Nearhouse Club, the crew coached by Ilka Meerhorst and Diedrich Simon. And uh, the Italians have got to go with the Dutch as they make this move, Greg. As you say, the uh, Italians do need to really try and hang on to the move from the Dutch now. The Dutch have moved on nicely for them in that second quarter, coming through a 1,000. They were pretty much in a line. It's a big move from the Dutch. It's a relentless kind of rhythm, but it's a relaxed sort of rhythm that looks like it's not something they're going to run out of steam with. And how about the Germans being pushed back into fifth place there as they came through that timing marker? Wasn't expecting that through this stage of the race. So it's Italy in second place. The blades in perfect synchronicity. Poland still in third place. Got a good lead ahead of the crew from Australia over there in lane two. Crew from Germany and China look out of the medal hunt at the moment. I think that's a good shout from you, Martin. Let's keep an eye on that Australian crew out there in lane number two. Will they be able to close up on the Polish? And will anyone be able to close up on this crew from the Netherlands? I feel like I want to put my hand over the screen and just look at their heads and their faces because they look so calm, so relaxed, so flat in terms of what they're doing. You don't think they're in the middle of the World Championships final going along at 38 strokes a minute. There's the Australians over there in lane two. Playfair, Watts, Girdleston. And David Watts in the stroke seat, Campbell Watts in the two seat, coached by Mark Prater. Took a silver medal, this crew, most of this crew in the World Championships last year. Struggling to make impact on the bronze medal poles. Wow, wow, wow. Well, they beat the Italians by almost five seconds in the European Championships. They couldn't be set to repeat that margin, could they, at this year's World Championship? They're going away as we come to the last quarter. This is a sensational performance from the Dutch quad. It's absolutely beautiful from the Dutch. We saw them sculling like this in the Europeans, and this is taking them through that third quarter. Three and a half seconds ahead of Poland, who've just taken second place ahead of Italy. Well, I don't know if it's going to be five seconds like it was at the Europeans, but it looks like it's a gap which is getting bigger. You can see in the right-hand corner the Dutch the fastest moving on the course. The Polish now are showing back, coming back through the Italians to put themselves into silver medal position. The Italians are going to need to hang on. I can't see the Australians and Germans really coming back at them unless something goes badly wrong in one of these leading boats. 
Fabian Baranski, the Polish stroke man, backed up by Simon Poznik. Victor Chabel, the anchor in the two seat. Dominik Haider up in the bows. Great shot from the drone. Shows that they are in the red boys now, the leading Dutch boat. And uh, nothing, it seems, can stop them from their imperious progress through to a gold medal here at the 2019 World Rowing Championships. Imperious is the word. There is no equal to that crew at the front of the field. Look how smooth and calm they look as they're still going up through the gears, still in complete control. The Australians are trying to come back at the top of our pitch. I surely don't think they can do it as we take a look here. It just looks slightly harder work, unsurprisingly, in that boat as they try to get back on terms. But we will come out and we'll see this Dutch crew looking fantastic with about 10 strokes to go to the line. They will be watching this as a training video in years to come. This is how to scull a boat. Dirk Uden, Bogard, Abby Veers, Maton Vieten and Kern Mertesackers show the way home. They take the gold medal. Poland, a fantastic race for the silver medal. Italy just couldn't quite compete and have to hang on for bronze, but a great result for them. Well, we see the Australians crossing the line, the Germans crossing the line, the swimmers are already in the water. They've dived in from our grandstand.